Okay, so I'm going to go over how to make an image map. I introduced it in class. It's just there's a good amount of steps, and it's a little too hard to just type out on this blog here. Um, so you can use the sample code that's on here um, and bring it into Text Wrangler and open it up. And so you see it here. Um, so there's two areas. You um, are saying show the picture and then have the picture cut up into sections. So up here you're showing the picture, um, which is cups.jpg. And um, you have you can say the, the width and the height of it. Um, and what's important here is you have this use map equals, and then right here it says cup map. That links it to down here, the second part, which is the actual map. And what this is doing is in each uh, area, it's cutting it up into different sections. Um, it can be done in three ways. It can be done as a rectangle, a circle, or a polygon. If it's a rectangle, um, you want the X and Y coordinates of the top left corner and then the X and Y coordinates of the bottom right corner, um, making a box. Um, and then you want to say where it goes. So href equals, and I have this going to CNN. Uh, you can also do a circle. If you do a circle, you say the coordinates of the X and Y of the middle of the circle where you want it to go and the radius of it. And this is going to New York Times. And then you can also have a polygon, which if you do a polygon, you can pretty much make almost whatever shape that you want. So you can use this to kind of make a pyramid or an octagon or any crazy kind of shape. Um, it gets, it's a little co more complicated because you need to know the X and Y coordinates of each point that you want to use. So here's one set of coordinates, a second set a third set, and then the fourth set here. Um, so you might ask yourself, how exactly do you know where the x and y coordinates are on the, on the image that you want to cut up? So get the image you want to use, and then what you want to do is you want to open up in Photoshop. And so here's the image. I'm going to use an image of a couple cups. Um, so we need to be able to have Photoshop tell us where this mouse is, where the x and y are actually located. So to do that, you need to do two things. You need to show a certain panel, and that panel is the info panel. It's right here. You notice that if I move the mouse here, you can now actually see where the X and Y is here. Um, and then to get to that panel, you have to go to Window and make sure the info panel is checked off. And if you do that and you're under the 8-bit X and Y, you're seeing very, very small numbers. That's because your ruler is set to show inch, inches or something else besides pixels. So if that's the case, um, you have to go up to Photoshop, Preferences, Units and Rulers, and make sure Rulers is in pixels. And you'll know it's in pixels because this number up here uh, should relate to from the left of the image to the right of the image, roughly how big the image is. Um, so now that you have that, you can start um, cutting it up. So we want this, we'll say this is going to be a rectangle. So we find the top left corner, which, we'll say, which is 7 and 61. We have to go back into the document and text wrangler. And I did this already, but uh, here's 7 and 61. Then back into Photoshop to find the bottom right of it. So 54 and 137. So after you do all of that, um, save the document, and then now you can see it. So when I double click on it, I have an image map. You know um, if there's a link on it. You know what areas are, uh, are actually cut up, because when you move your mouse over that area, the mouse changes. In this case, it's a little Mickey Mouse hand. Um, so here I cut it up. I cut it up over here, and I cut this up over here. And then you see when I move off the area, it goes back to the normal mouse. And let's say I click on an image, the section of the image, and this goes to CNN. This one I have going to New York Times, which it says up here, just really slow. And this one is going to Yahoo. Um, so that's pretty much how, how you make an image map. You can cut up an image into many, many sections. Um, you can use this for your to create your digital stories. Um, a lot of times people use it for creating navigation bars as well and websites. Um, so that's pretty much the tutorial. You get a little bonus if you can figure out how to get this blue border around the image to turn off. All right.